for you Dodge fans, for you Dodge fans, we have something special, dude. Check this out. Now, I'm, I feel like a little snake creeping around in the grass right now, but dude, this is a 2019 Dodge Cummins 2500. Now, the thing is, it literally hasn't even been released yet. Like, we don't even know what the 2019 Dodge Cummins will look like. But, for some reason, if I had to guess what it would look like, it seems like it would look like this. Like, okay, so anyways, these guys on Facebook sent me it. Uh, Daniel and then I think Wes had made it, actually. But, they sent me this 2019, what's supposed to be a Dodge Cummins Ram, if you want to say, um, 2500. Now, if we look at it, it as the Cummins Turbo Diesel, which is like kind of hidden behind that, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or what. It's a limited edition. It looks like they extended the box to make it a long bed, which, dude, to be honest, this looks pretty nice, to be honest. Um, the front end, I think, let me look at this front end. Pretty sure they just basically took it off the 1500 over here because the 1500 front end looks the exact same. But, like, it's not going to lie. It's, like, pretty darn, let's look at this front end. Because this is a Dodge 1500, which it's been announced. It's been released. We have pictures of. But we don't have pictures of the 2500 Cummins, which, dude, to be honest, like, it looks like a... And they got a 2500 badge up here because they have... I think they have a... Yeah, they have a 1500 badge up here. Yep, they have a 1500 badge. And so I'm guessing they'll just have a 2500 badge. But basically what these guys did is they pieced together what they think a 2019 Dodge Cummins 2500 will look like. And... Not gonna lie, they like it doesn't look it looks pretty good to be honest. Like at first when I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, that's that, that's ugly, man. And stuff. You can definitely tell they piece it together because look, oh shoot, here's where the, the dual exhaust used to be. You can see they like took out the exhaust and stuff, and they just put a rear exhaust. Oh shoot. Oh dude, I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the trailer, man. There we go, now we're out of it. But and then we have the exhaust on this side. Um the interior is Dodge interior. Now I don't know how these. Oh my gosh, is that the shifter there? I guess I've never been a new Dodge. One of my, one of my buddies actually got a brand new Dodge. I just saw the interior a little bit, and uh, like a brand new Dodge. I think uh, it was a Longhorn edition. It was a 1500 though. Uh, so I just saw the interior a little bit. It was, it was, it was pretty sweet though. It had like the kind of reddish brownish interior. I, I love those interiors. Those you know kind of crazy exotic interiors. But okay, we got to get going. So. I'm gonna. We're gonna be using this to haul today. Dodge let us test it out. They let us demo it, so we'll we'll test it out a little bit. But no, guys, this isn't. I guess it could be what the Do the Dodge will look like. It's kind of cool to be honest. Like, like like I said, if like if I saw, uh, if I thought a, what a 2500 was gonna look like, it it probably looks like this. It probably looks something like this. It'll be interesting to see once they come out with it. Like. Everybody, once they come out with it, come back to this video and look at this and see how close they got it. Because I think, I think it'll look something like this. Even though I may not want it to look, I don't know. Front end looks a little weak. They need a little more meaner, beefy, you know, you know. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they'll throw a hood scoop or something on there. That'd be sweet, like Chevy does. But uh, okay, so somebody bought, somebody bought or can we get in here? Shoot. Oh man, darn it. Okay, so one of you guys commented in the last video and was like, Squad, I'll take your comments and I'll take your step side, your Chevy step side. I was like, okay. And so they were like, surprise me. Surprise me with what it is. So what we have to do is we have to go customize it to something crazy, they said, and then drop it off at their house because these guys, they bought these. And these have been sitting around forever in storage. And I was like, okay, it's time. I'm, I'm willing to sell them. So this guy who commented in the video was like, I'll take them. I'll take them. So... We got to go, go deliver them for, to him, but I, I got to customize them like crazy. I got to, I don't know. I got to do something. He said he wanted them radical, so we'll, we'll make them ra radical. <laughs> radical, dude, I've never used that word forever. Uh, but anyways, he said he wanted them crazy, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep them crazy for him. Um, I guess, I guess that's the next step to uh, customize them. The F-350 here, I'll let you guys know about the F-350 that's in here. We got the axle replaced. All I got to do is take it down the, off the lift and then just give it back to the customer for some reason i can't get through okay i can get through that door so yeah we got it off the lift it's ready to rock and roll it's a little muddy we have the axle fix so all i gotta do is get that back to him maybe we'll do that today roll gold customs i don't know i'm really excited to haul because we're gonna haul both of those trucks with the 2019 ram cummins dude ram cummins 2019 there's so many different ways i could pronounce it um i could say 2019 ram Cummins 2500. Sometimes I always just say Cummins. Like instead of saying 2500, I'm like, let's grab the Cummins. Um, 
there's a lot of different ways of saying it. Everybody makes fun of me the way, like I say, it. like if I'm like, let's grab the Ram. They're like, no, squad, it's supposed to be a Dodge 2500, man, and stuff. So I, I, I apologize if I say it the wrong way or don't say in the order you want me to, you know. Uh, but anyways, okay, we are going to grab the Chevy and Dodge. And you guys are okay to make fun of me. I shouldn't say that. Make fun of me, make fun of me, make fun of me. It's cool. It's cool. I'm okay with that. I can take it. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, I'm going to open the door, and then we're going to take both of these to the shop over there. Now, the Cummins, dude, I, we're going to keep this first-gen Cummins around forever. Nicest truck ever. It's a classic. It's it's just sweet. I know we pulled with it the other day, and it's a little muddy, I think, yet, too. Gosh darn it, I keep getting stuck behind here. There we go. Okay, anyways, we'll get the step side out first. Dude, it's been a while since we've been on the step side. It's all white. <laughs> Oh, she sounds good, dude. It's got so much power, too. I'm just slowly tapping on the gas here, dude. It's it's an insane amount of power. There we go. We'll throw it on the lift, which means we got to get the F-350 off the lift to throw this on the lift. Oh, my gosh, dude. I hit the trailer. Jeez. Jeez, always. Okay, and so also... Oh, I got to show you. Okay, I'll show you guys at the end. But we got Razors and Snowmobiles. Which I'm thinking about adding that to the storage here and over there, just having racers and snowmobiles. So I got I got some of those too. Um, anyways, F350, we'll get this out. I think we'll just put it in the storage room, the storage shed for now, and then maybe we'll deliver it later. You know what? I said I was gonna wash it off. We gotta wash it off for him too. There we go. I can't wait to have customers on this map, dude. It's been so long. Everybody's been like, "Squad, you need customers. You need real people to come in. You need real people to come in and buy stuff." I'm like, "Yes, we do. We do. We do." So. I'm planning on doing that soon. We'll just wash her off here. I need to get like a truck lineup out there. You guys know how I had like four or five trucks out there at once? I've started selling them all and we don't have enough trucks coming in. There we go. Get under here a little bit. Nice. There we go. She's pretty much clean. Get the door a little more over here. Come on. Get that little spot. There we go. Okay. She is clean. There we go. Okay. I think I'll... Oh, man. Okay. He, we'll have to hook up to the trailer later, but for now, I'm just going to park it right next to the trailer. Um, the razors... The razors always tend to just, like, fall off. Every piece of trailer. Every every trailer you, I can think of. The razors always are the ones to, like, start falling off. Also, check this out. Check this out. I said I wasn't going to show you guys till later, but we got a Polaris Rush 900. <laughs> what do you guys think of her? Now, this was made, like, a year ago by Lamb of Mods. Um, it's an older snowmobile, or it's an older snowmobile and farming similar, I should say. Um, but it, it's, it's still sweet. You can customize it to whatever. It's, dude, it's so tough to make snowmobiles and farms. Imagine that. And he made it. Like, I, I'm, it's, it's just awesome what Lambo can do. So, he made the snowmobile, and, uh, we'll do some snowmobile once, once winter gets closer, you know? Okay, so, we gotta get going back, uh, step side. Over here. And then we'll throw it on the lift. Customize this. He just said he wants something crazy, so we'll make it, uh, we'll make it crazy. Now, for the Ram... You can only select the color blue. So I'm hoping we can get a better color selection soon. What? Who knows? There we go. We'll shut her off. Oh, man. I keep getting stuck in here. Oh, darn. Okay, there we go. Raise her up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You don't customize in here. That's right. Okay. Drop her down. <laughs> there we go. Jump in her. Back her up. And then we customize in this area. That's right. That's right. I totally forgot. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do for this one. I have no idea. Maybe I'll make this one like really classic, like a classic, kind of like that with those uh, with those tires. So we'll keep big block. Should we go black? I, I said I didn't want something crazy, and I think black is realistic. The Steely's mud tires. I think those are it. Pretty. Yep. I'm pretty sure those are it. I don't want any underglow. I said I wanted this one classic, so we'll keep her classic. No underglow. No ad strips. I think the smiley faces. Now, the smiley faces are just the light covers. Every truck has that, it seems like. I always used to see those. I guess I don't see them anymore, but I do want those once we get it. Cowl hood. Yeah, we'll take that. Visor. Yep, yep, I'm saying visor. Definitely. Roll bar. Yes, roll bar looks sweet. CB setup. No, CB. Hitch. Of course, hitch. Brush guard. Uh, yeah, brush guard would be realistic. Light bar. There we go. Okay, just like that picture. 
Oh, what do you guys think of her? So this is gonna be kind of the classic one. The Cummins, maybe we'll uh, we'll you know we'll go crazy with the Cummins. I think a little bit. But for now, we'll load. Actually, we'll just pull the Chevy step side out and just put it next to the trailer, and then eventually load her up. Oh, there we go. And the light bar works. Everything works. Sweet. So this is gonna be my classic one. I get when I give to him. He doesn't know this. He wants something extreme. I was like, no, we're gonna do classic. We're gonna do something nice. Oh shoot. There we go. Put it right here, and then we'll go grab the Cummins, which Cummins is right over here. Now, I'm, I don't know what we should put on her. What do you guys think we should put on? Dude, there is... Oh, I have a dog park behind me, literally. The only... I have a dog park behind me, man. Behind our apartment, and it's just dogs barking. I, oh, I should have thought about that when I, when, I, when I moved here, you know? Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but anyways. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, the Dodge. We'll just pull in here. Now, I, I love dogs and stuff. It's just when you're recording and they're barking, it's a, it's a little tough, you know? But yeah, no, dogs are awesome. I love dogs. Um, anyways, we are going to customize this. And ah, what do we do? Do we go black? Oh, my gosh. You guys got to be able to hear those dogs. Maybe maybe not, I guess. Okay. We, oh, dude. Okay. We will go. I, I feel like we want classic on the other one. So maybe we should go classic on this one. I want to keep it black, but... Oh, or we could do, uh... Okay, gray. Okay, here's what, I'm, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, have you guys ever seen the show Walker, Texas Ranger? Now, he didn't have a Cummins. Walker, Texas Ranger, he had a Dodge 1500. It wasn't a Cummins. It was lifted. It had the roll bar. Extended cab. Looked just like this besides it was a 1500. So what I'm going to do is try to replicate his truck. Now... Okay, here. I'm going to I'm going to pull it up on screen for a sec. Okay, now here was his truck. So, it's a little different, you know, it's it's a 1500, but it's something we can I mean, we're just going to have it coming. So, we need kind of a darker silver. I don't know if we can get those. We can get kind of a brush guard. We'll have the roll bar on it. You know, we'll be pretty close to it. We down 1500. Dude, he, this guy should have been driving a Cummins, man. He should have been driving a diesel, you know, rolling coal down the road in the movies and stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen Walker Texas Ranger. It's uh, it's uh, it's a pretty good movie. I used to always watch it when I was uh with uh Chuck Norris. Um, but anyways, okay, we will get back there. Okay, so let's try to replicate that as best as possible. If we go silver, silver here, no underglow. Wasn't an underglow guy. No, ah, he didn't have any cowl or anything like that. Visor, I think he's a visor. Nah, yeah, we'll keep a visor. Roll bar, brush guard. Yeah, we need brush guard. Stock mirrors. Oh, toe mirrors. Okay, let's put toe mirrors. Now, even though he didn't have toe mirrors, let's put some toe mirrors on here, dude. Dude, I feel like that movie and his Dodge probably sold so many Dodge trucks. So many Dodge trucks back in the day, back in 1995. But uh, anyways, there we go. Because, I mean, he was known kind of for his truck. Ah, dude, that doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't really look like it too much. The toe mirrors look sweet. Why did I have toe mirrors on before? Mirrors look awesome. Okay, anyways, there we go. It, it's close. It's, I mean, it's, it's a, it's, it's tough to get it perfect, I guess. Oh shoot. There we go. So that's my, that's my best shot at her. The tow mirrors really throw it off now. But okay, we're gonna load these up, and we're gonna have the ram, we're gonna have the ram haul these. Now I'm gonna pull. It sounds pretty sweet too, dude. It sounds nice. Okay, this might be a little too heavy a load for the 25. Ah, I don't know. It probably should have got a 35 iron for this. We'll shut her off. And, oh, also we have the light up top, which is kind of cool. It looks like it's, uh, I don't know, it looks like it's a hot shot truck and truck, you know? If it was a 35 iron, it would be a little better, but it's got the long box, you know? Single rear wheel. Of course, single rear wheel when it's 2500. We've got the gas tank in the back, got the light up top. Okay, we'll load the Chevy up first. Oh, that startup sound. Okay. Just doss her right up here. I'm going to slowly load her up because the Kelmans might be squatting a little. Not going to lie. Ooh, not yet. Hasn't even dropped yet. Huh. There we go. Okay, right there. And then the... Oh, dude, we'll have enough room. We'll use that. Ah, I don't know. The Kelmans is pretty get big. Not going to lie, dude. This sounds sweet. <laughs> 
rolling gold customs. Now, not all of our trucks are diesel and stuff, and we don't even have all trucks. We have some classic cars over there, but we're it's just a custom shop, I guess. Oh, look at that. Okay, shoot. How are we going to do this? Um, Because we're going to have to fold that. Shoot. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work, guys. Hopefully, it works good. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. We're good. Okay, there we go. I thought I was going to throw it up in there. Now, one thing about this trailer is it doesn't have lock load, and so I've been having issues with stuff sliding off the side. I don't know. Let, let's just try to get going. We got to go down the interstate, too. Oh, it did start squatting, too, a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is a perfect test for the 2019 Ram, man. What if they... Oh, dude, this is... This is sweet. It's a little small of truck, but she gets the job done. I think. I guess we haven't done her yet. Oh, by the way, how do you guys like the new uh, the new statue for Rolling Coal Customs? The new uh, monument, you know, up there. Did I tell you? I told you guys. I told you guys about that. Anyways, okay. What actually happened is I was backing up a trailer, and the truck went flying in the sky, and it landed on the power lines. And I was like, you know what? That looks pretty sweet, actually. That that could be like our new statue and stuff. So that's what I, that's what I ended up like calling it. You know, I just was like, okay, we're not getting that out of there. We're gonna call it our like statue because, like, uh, in Davenport, Iowa, for example, there's a big there's a big truck on on a sign. I think it is, and that's like their their statue, so you can see them off the interstate and stuff. So I was like, you know what? We'll just use that as a uh, as kind of what we're known for. So you know, a kid off the interstate sees our truck on a power line, and they're like, oh, let's go to Roll Gold Customs, you know? So. I thought that'd be uh, neat, so we'll keep that there, even though we might need it. Oh shoot, Is the Dodge doing good. Okay, we should be good. Oh man, I missed my, I missed my turn to the interstate over there. Shoot, it's cool though. Actually, shoot, I I wasn't even supposed to take the interstate. Okay, we gotta turn around somewhere. You know what? Maybe we'll get some diesel quick. We'll fill it with some diesel. We'll go through the shell. That Cummins is actually the trucks are staying good. It's kind of falling through back there, but we're good. Yeah, we'll take a left here. There we go. We'll grab some diesel, and then we'll hit the road. I want to make sure all these trucks are full, too. I guess I probably should have filled them up. There we go. And always shut off your vehicles when you're filling up. There we go. Ready to rock and roll. Hit the road. By the way, we're going in kind of the, like the rich area, if you guys don't know. Like, uh, I guess the wealthy area um, where the big mansion is. You guys remember that. <laughs> this Dodge is... Dude, it, Long, long, long box trucks look pretty sweet when they're towing. I don't know, something about them. It's kind of small, but it's it's a start. Oh shoot, that that Dodge is not doing too well back there. I should probably scooch it up a little bit. We're gonna try to mess mess with that a little bit. I should be able to scooch it up. There we go. Okay, that should be good now. We'll get towing now. I think this is the Sport Edition of the Cummins. You guys know how they have that Sport Edition with kind of like the blackish wheels and stuff? I think this is technically a Sport Edition. One of the guys we actually ride dirt bikes with and stuff got a brand, he got a brand new, got a brand new Dodge Cummins Sport Edition and that thing is sweet. It's a 2500. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. Okay, we'll take it right here. Swing Wad Brothers coming in here. Oh, she's flying up the hill. There we go. Now, like, literally, I have this on the lowest setting. Like, there's a cu couple of settings you can buy this on, and I have this on the lowest setting right now. So, which means it could be crazy fast, but I always keep stuff on the lowest setting so that way I can tow realistically. And, like, like when I press the gas, it just doesn't, like, take off, you know, and I can't control it. So that's why I always keep it on the lowest setting. We'll pull around here. Dude, I'm, I'm trying not to talk too much, actually, so you guys can just hear the truck, you know? See, I think that's a kind of important feature that I kind of talk too much, I, th I feel like, sometimes. When I'm do when we're doing kind of realistic stuff, like telling, you guys just want to hear the truck, you know? Well, here she is. If we can pull through, we should be able to. Oh, no, we can't. Shoot. Okay, I can... Ah, how are we going to do this? Um, I could try backing it up, I guess. Or we could just kind of pull off to the side of the road. I'm thinking that'll work. As long as we don't take out this person's mailbox. Okay, remind me not to go forward and take out their... Okay, right there. <laughs> we were so close. Throw the hazards on. There we go. Okay, we should be good pulling off the side of the road. We'll unload it for them. We'll get them. Too bad they're not here, so they won't... Like, we won't be able to see the reaction, but... 
We'll drop them off for them. The Kelmans is finally gone. We've had it for so long. I was just like, we need to, we need to get rid of it. We need to get some new trucks in here. So they've been sweet trucks. And by the way, you guys can get these at Expendables Modding. By the way, made these insane trucks over here. There we go. When I was turning that corner around there, you guys could definitely see I used my keyboard because the wheels were like kept turning real weird and stuff. It looks so it looks so bad there. There we go. Chevy will fire up. There we go. Oh, whip her around, back her up, and then we will be heading back to the shop over there. I got a couple more things that I got to do at the shop over there. Right, right there. Perfect. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the reaction, but the Cummins and the Stepside are gone. They're gone. The new owner's here. The new owner's going to take good care of them. And they're gone, which means we're going to have to find some new trucks, too. So... That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Throw in your recommendations on what trucks we should get since we gotta find some new ones. Okay, the Ram. Okay, you know what? We'll just go through here and pull around the cul-de-sac and start heading back. She definitely goes a lot faster. Let me turn off the hazards. And uh, we'll swing wide through here and go all the way back. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Mailbox. Dude, it's so easy to take out the... Here, let me just show you. Uh, you guys know. I'm not gonna try to hit a mailbox. You guys know how mailboxes work. They just get destroyed. Okay, it's kind of funny when I hit them. Okay, let me just hit one, man. It's kind of funny. Watch this. I don't know. They just get completely... Like, they fly. It's it's fun. It's fun hitting mailbox. We should have a game. We should have literally a live stream. But who can hit the most mailboxes or something like that? Just take them all out. I don't know. The way that you hit them and then they just kind of like fly and slide across the ground. It's kind of funny. Oh, dude. I wanted to take out that real mailbox right there. By the way, it's illegal to take out a mailbox. So don't... Don't do that in real life, man. That would not be good. Okay, we made it back. Now, where did I put this trailer? Because this trailer's just insanely long, dude. Probably put it... Oh. Okay, it's going to be tough back, but I think I got it with this. I'm surprised. You know what? The Dodges will probably have... Uh, like, the F-150 has a backup feature. It's so weird. But you have a little knob down there, and when you're backing up, you twist the knob. You guys have probably seen it in a car commercial. You uh, twist it to the right if you want the trailer to go to the right. And twist to the left if you want the trailer to go left, so you don't have to like opposite steer anymore. But I feel like, I feel like that's the fun of it. Backing up trailers, you gotta, you know, it's it's a little challenge and stuff, and it's fun once you start getting it down, I guess. But they kind of taken that away with this uh, steering little wheel mechanism you got over there. So I don't know. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting. My truck doesn't have it though, which is good. There we go. We're going to pull all the way forward, and then I'm going to pull up a little bit. Right there. Dude, we have so many trailers. <laughs> okay, we'll unhook her. There we go. I don't know. What do you guys think of the Kilmans? What do you guys think? I thought it did a good job pulling. I liked it. I liked having this truck around. I'll put it right next to the Dodge. Now, it's kind of small. It is kind of small compared to the Dodge. Definitely. I'm not going to lie there. Oh, man. Look at it. But the Dodge is, like, lifted and stuff, too. We'll shut her off. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. It's it looks uh, looks like it's a 1500, and this is 2500. But this is lifted. It's got big tires and stuff like that on her. We'll shut down the garage. There we go. And then I guess I showed you guys the razors and uh, snowmobiles. I also have another razor and snowmobile in this enclosed trailer. I guess I can't open it because it's not hooked to anything. But you can see the razors. Like <laughs> you can see it went through the top, so it doesn't quite fit perfectly. Um, in the trailer over there so we'll close down everything we still have to deliver this f-350 which we'll get to later but i'm gonna need i'm gonna start needing some more trucks guys because right now we only have the lowered which i haven't done anything with the lowered dually in like forever and then we have all our hot rods over here yet which just like i'm i don't know i'll probably just keep them there forever but it's time to uh get some more trucks i think i'm gonna get like a ton of trucks a ton of trucks at once and then have a sale day is what i'm planning on but the shop's all closed down. Had a good day over on Rolling Cold Customs. And guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know. Smack that like button. And hey, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.